Hi, namaste. My name is Henry Sidikaya. I'm a French Canadian psychotherapist, hypnotherapist, and my special field of interest and study is brainwashing and mind control by cults. Over the last few years, I have made several videos to expose the terrible abuse of Somyal Laka Ripoche, who died a few days ago in Thailand without ever saying that he was sorry for all the terrible abuse that he committed to her is especially female disciple and today I'm especially offended to see on his Facebook page so many lamas coming to praise Songyal Rinpoche without mentioning one word of the abuse to her his victims. Domshala, you can see praises by Ringu Talku Rinpoche, by Kandro Tsiringma, by Zingar Control, by Ling Rinpoche, and what is especially offensive for me are the praise of Chagdud Katro, who seemed to be a nice middle-aged lady. Did she not hear of the terrible abuse that some of the female disciples had to go through? We're living in the Me Too movement age now where it is very important to protect women from sexual abuse by people like Songyal Rinpoche and other gurus of other tradition. What is she thinking? By watching YouTube you can hear testimonial of a woman that did see Song Yal Rinpoche walking around with a naked woman and that woman had a leash on and he was humiliating her just walking her around a room in front of other of his disciple. How can you praise someone that did such a thing? Oh, maybe you believe it was crazy wisdom. It was a way to teach a lesson to some of the disciples. We have the testimonial of Mimi, who was deeply involved in the inner circle of Song Yal Rinpoche, who had practically sex slave around him. How can a woman, Shagdud Kadro, show her face and say, oh, he was such a great man. He was such a great teacher. He was also one of my friends. It is absolutely scandalous and it is basically a way to make the victim victim again and again and again by praising a man who's basically a sociopath. Somebody that has used a divine theology to exploit his disciple to satisfy his sexual perversions. 
how can you praise a guy like that that never said I'm really sorry I did that to you in a letter of 2017 he made it clear that it was never his intention to hurt anybody what was happening a man that sexually abused his followers using his position to mesmerize young women he did beat other of his disciple because he thought he had the right to beat up people because they were his followers he wanted to teach them a lesson it's part of the crazy wisdom way of life whatever the guru says you do the guru wants to beat you up the guru wants to have sex with you this is the path of crazy wisdom that this man was involved in and left many people hurt emotionally for their entire lifetime so we're dealing here with some sort of monster using the name of the Buddha using the glory of Tibetan Buddhism to fulfill his perversions I'm also upset that opening the page on Facebook the first picture is the Dalai Lama and when you click on the picture you see some quote from the Dalai Lama they want to make you think that somehow the Dalai Lama is sorry for the demise of Song Yal Rinpoche the Dalai Lama said clearly a bit late in my book but he did say that Song Yal was a disgrace I wish he would have spoken earlier 10 years earlier 15 years earlier when the allegation first came out but unfortunately for some reason that we will never know he did not say anything until there was clear very clear knowledge and indication that Song Yal Rinpoche was abusing his power as a guru many people will try to whitewash the life of Song Yal Rinpoche and say oh he was such a great teacher he bred Buddhism to so many people and they will try to bad mount the victims we have seen this in other situations like Bill Cosby how many women did Bill Cosby rape Bill Cosby's in jail Bill Cosby will die in shame why should Song Yal Rinpoche not die in shame for all the terrible abuses he did in this lifetime people like those Rinpoche trying to rescue his name and shine some love and light on Song Yal Rinpoche are wrong we are living in the Me Too era where we have to protect a woman in the entertainment business and in the spiritual groups associations it cannot be like it used to be in the time of Trumpa Rinpoche 
where he was abusing so many of his disciples but unfortunately the internet and YouTube was not yet available and he got away with a lot of sexual abuse alcohol abuse of which he finally died of liver failure so I'm making this video because I think it's important that Song Yal Lakar Ripoche doesn't go in the process of that being glorified as a saint when he actually in this lifetime acted a lot like a demon like a psychopath like other traditions for example the Satya Sai Baba organization there are still thousands of people praying to Satya Sai Baba even if it has now been proven that he was a prolific prolific pedophile this is the stories of various cults around the world even if the leader dies for some time there's still hundred possibly thousands of people that will refuse to see the terrible abuse that this man has committed he left woman totally emotionally destroyed we should think of them now not to think of glorifying another so-called Rinpoche that was a complete disgusting bad example for Buddhism and religion as a whole thank you very much